Honey, how do we run? Te nā tātou katoa e te whare e te nā koutou e te whānau i haere tawhiti mai. Kia rongo ahia i ngā poroporo aki mō tō tātou nei tangata a parikura. I feel a bit funny standing up in front of him when he met my back, but he always said he had my back, so he's still there. I was I was thinking of uh, some of the kōrero up at the up at the Tangi, some wonderful kōrero, particularly during the service of David Uru and uh, and Wira Gardner. Uh, yeah, some some wonderful kōrero, and I I noted how um, Wira made mention of the fact that uh, that although Heke is uh, a minister in the National Party, she voted every three years for Parikura. <laughs> But, but to make the Prime Minister not feel so bad, <clears throat> I, I think David Shearer already knows that Shane Jones has been voting for me ever since I got into Parliament as well. Louis, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> no, was, uh, I, I was... I was also listening to about somebody talking about how... Um, uh, Parikori used to get Heke to write speeches for him and, uh, and then never used to read them. And uh, So just before I came to the house, I rang across to Heke's office and I said, look, can you send me across uh, a few notes that I could use in my kōrero today? And uh, she sent me a few. <laughs> and, and that's kind of why, this is kind of why Parikori never bothered to use any of it. Because <laughs> it's the kind of stuff that Heke sends across. But out on the road, which is where most of us knew him, not in here, out on the road, Parikura was a wonderful speaker. Uh, not your true orator in the Māori sense. I mean, we had wonderful orators at the Tangi. You know, some of the best from all around the country. Uh, and Parikura wasn't like any of those guys. He was a, he was a natural chap. He was a funny guy. Um, all of his stories were real stories. And I, you know, I think more than anything, that's what most of us are going to miss about Parikura, is that he was... Um, when you saw Parikura, you just saw a mate. He didn't, didn't get overly fussed about, about the politics. He was. For a while there, when, um, when Tariana came marching up onto par Parliament here with 50,000 people to oppose the foreshore and seabed, but uh, even apart from that, he was, uh, he was easy to get on with. So, you know, I'm going to miss seeing him waddle around the house here. I'm going to... I may, no, well, I probably won't. I'm not going to miss him telling me what to do, though. <laughs> I used to say to him, but you're not even in the same party as me. You can't tell me what to do. He said, oh, I know that, and then he'd still tell me what to do. I'm going to miss all of that, and I think a lot of us are. He was, uh, yeah, he was, yeah, he was a good man. So to, to all of you, to Hauiti, and uh, all of Ngāti Parau, on behalf of all of us, I just want to say thank you very much for how well you looked after us when you came up to the mate. The singing was superb, absolutely superb. The... The, the speeches of Welcome were fabulous. Just the warmth was, was, was excellent. The kai, the kai that I was telling my wife when we gone home, because she loves the kai one, I says, oh, you know, the tables were so full, they had to actually stack the kai one on top of each other. <laughs> so, I mean, with, with most we, as most of you will know, uh, not often we remember the things that are said, but we certainly remember what we had for Kai. <laughs> so, you know, an honour to, to Hawiti uh, that, that, you, that you took so, mu so much good care of all of us is something I don't think any of us will ever forget. Uh, it was a wonderful occasion. Um, and just, yeah, all of the, all of the nice things that have been said about Parikura, some, one of the queers just outside, he actually asked me, could I get up and say the same kōrero here that I said at the tangi? I had to apologise and say no. I said, 
I don't think you're allowed to swear in Parliament. <laughs> but I mean, those of you who knew Parikura knew that he could swear like a trooper. Eh? He was uh, he was terrible. I mean, when he could when he could bail us up in a room, when there weren't too many other people listening, uh, he used to uh, <clears throat> he used to say some things to us, uh, Mr. Speaker, which probably can't be repeated in here. But right afterwards, he would take us for a kai. And unlike what Pete said, he'd make us pay. <laughs> so, the me here to keep to tato ho, to tato nang ansira. Ah, a parikura ko ngano ati kia tato ite nei wa. Loto ite nei fare, iroto yo kau to wa ke fare kai loto hau witi. Ah, ite nei wa me me hiano kia ki te tahi o ku kuia, a katahi ano ko mate ine hua tu ite ra o parikura. Ke roto i a mātou i te kao, a kui machu. He tino kuia, ke roto i a mātou. Iwa te kau maono o nga tau, i tēnei wā ko ngaro ano hoki. I was just thinking about some of the old people who have died up home just in the last couple of weeks. Kui machu, Cinderella, Huria Subriski, Rata Harrison, and of course Parikura. So I'm quite sure that he'll catch up with them on the journey and share a few stories about his life, his life amongst us in the north, and uh, and how how proud he was. I have to say this: how proud he was that his mokopuna was a Napoli. Oh, and one final thing. One final thing: when Shane Jones gets up to speak afterwards, none of what he has to say will be true. Mr. The Honourable John Banks. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the